We got the all new High Boy EX7 full suspension fat tire e-bike here. And I'm taking it out here for a full review out here on the streets, off road, up a steep hill, on various terrains. We're gonna put this through the full rigors here and see if this is a proper e-bike. Let's go for a ride. Subscribe today. First off, I want to say you can get $100 off on this bike. I have a link in the description and comment section of this video and use the code. High Boy reached out to me and they offered to send this brand new High Boy EX7 to me. Just came out. The only reason I agreed to it is because previously I reviewed their High Boy P6, which one was one of my highly reviewed e-bikes on my channel. And it was really awesome. Uh, bare bones budget e-bike that did a little bit of everything and was a really fun e-bike so this ex7 they promised it'll be actually even better has better stuff on it this is actually has a full suspension on here it has the horse link shock here uh, just like the p6 it has the fully adjustable front fork eight clicks out to lock out and it has preload um, it does have a 750 watt rear motor, peak watt 1000 watts, it does 28 miles per hour, has a 7 speed Shimano gear shifter and derailleur. It has uh, disc brakes, has a 48 volt 18 amp hour battery, it's good for they say about 75 miles. Um, does have a 3.5 inch uh, display here and also it has an integrated throttle that's integrated into the grip here. Uh, it has three pedal assist levels, like I said, 28 miles per hour. Now, stock configuration, it will only do 20 with throttle only, and then pedal assist, it'll max out to 28 miles per hour. But you can go into the settings very easily, hold the plus and minus button down, and go to hit the plus button and go to three. And if you see here, it says 20 miles per hour. So you're just going to hit the plus button at 28 miles per hour, hit the I button, go back. And it'll be set. Also, it has a 26 inch, 4 inch thick fat tires, puncture resistant. Um, I love the fat tires. It makes it so much smoother on the road, off road. Also, I've never had a puncture ever on these things. And it has a rear rack that can hold up to 110 pounds of cargo and a brake light. It has a bright LED light. Um, it also has a horn. All right, now let's get on this bike and let's see what this bike can do. One thing I like about these high boy bikes is they really qu they're really quick off the line. So let's see, off the line, boom, throttle only. Boom, it gets up to speed quickly, man. Check it out. All right. It's supposed to do 28. I got it set to do 28, throttle only. 28, hit 28. All right, do pedal assist. We're in pedal assist here. I'll tell you one thing, man. This bike feels really good. Right off the line, the seat is uber comfortable. Oh my gosh. It may not look like the coolest seat. Look like a grandma seat. <laughs> but I'm telling you, man, your butt will love it. <laughs> okay, let's test the uh, shifting gear, Shimano gear shifter. All right, smooth. Smooth shifting. Oh man, this feels good. Nice and smooth out here on the road. It just has basic pedal assist. It doesn't have uh, the smart pedal assist where the harder you pedal, the more it kicks in and or less uh, you pedal, the less it kicks in. So, uh, for, but you're only paying 1400 bucks for this as opposed to those are 2000 plus dollars. Okay, so we got 20 miles per hour on pedal assist. Three. Okay, pedal assist two. Let's see what we got. Top speed and pedal assist two. And you're still getting a cardio workout, but this is great. These e-bikes are great. For seniors or people got arthritis or everybody really but it doesn't put pressure on your joints at all you still get the cardio with the motion but you're not putting a lot of force with your, your joints 23 miles an hour and pedal assist two all right we'll do pedal assist one here 23 miles an hour I don't see where it differenti differentiates that much from pedal assist two but I'm going downhill now so it's probably making it go faster. 
honestly I just put it in pedal assist 3 and cook and you get tired of pedaling for those of you out there you know that will have you know not in shape or whatnot and you just want to let the, the throttle work boom stop pedaling bam crank the throttle boom there you go you get 28 miles per hour like I said but you have to make that adjustment in the menu to change it from 20 to 28 miles per hour with throttle only but I'm really impressed with this bike so far on the road but we'll the main reason why I got this bike is to see how great it is off-road as well go ahead take this off-road and see what this can do off-road gonna go ahead and put this in click number we'll say four here for street you want to lock it out though you can't adjust that rear shock so let's see what we got here all right so far man oh this is such a pleasure to ride i'm telling you right now we'll wait till we get to some some tree roots here to see how this uh suspension i'm sitting on the seat so boom 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 oh yeah much better than the hardtail p6 yeah that rear shock helps you out big time man but it's smooth off-road and of course you got these puncture resistant fat tires that are awesome oh man i'm telling you these, these fat tire e-bikes full suspension fat tire e-bikes boy they just glide over everything oh man yeah that rear shock definitely helps out definitely helps out man makes it for a much smoother ride off-road very enjoyable Oh, this is nice. Nice right, here, the tree root. Boom, boom, boom. We'll go over them tree roots like nothing, boy. And these, this, this thick, fat seat, making it real comfortable. Oh man, this is nice. Wow. Boom, 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 boom. Look at all this. Look at all these tree roots, guys. Like I said, guys, I like this better than that four thousand uh, dollar e-bike or e-dirt bike I had. It, did 47 miles an hour had the crappiest suspension these 26 inch fat tires are way better man way better than them little skinny crap tires man they were on that bike all right proper but yeah this high boy ex7 man rides really nice off-road guys that horse link shock is nice that's nice it's better than having just your regular hardtail like the p6 has and uh yeah that really helps and of course having the full suspension fork is nice being able to adjust that now i'm going to take it up a steep hill now i'm going to take it up one of the steepest hills around here this is actually even steeper than the 30 percent grade they said this ex7 could do so we're going to see i've only had one other e-bike that could take this hill throttle only so we're going to see what it can do here. One thing I love about this bike, it starts up right away, man. Boom, get you going right away. All right. Seeing where what this can do going up this steep hill. Throttle only. Can it do it? So far. All right. Took that steep hill. And here's the second one. All right, throttle only, baby. Throttle only. Come on, yeah. Boom. Throttle only. It did it. Nice. So you, your legs get tired. You don't feel like pedaling up a hill. Boom. Throttle only. It gets you up that the steep hill. And that's a really steep hill, guys. It's steeper than actually. It looks. I'm gonna do full stop. I hope it stops because otherwise I'll end up in that street. 36, 36 miles per hour. Full brakes right now. Boom. Yeah, got it done. These brakes are adequate. All right, man. It passed the test. The brake test. The steep hill test. The off-road test. Nice. Okay, there's one other test we gotta do. I'm gonna go ahead and ride it in the grass boom oh man it's like riding on a cloud out here man <laughs> no problems Jack ride all up in the grass no nope, you can ride anywhere that's why I love these fat tires man it's your dual sport bike here e-bike here guys oh my gosh this is awesome no problem boom it's like 
riding smooth on this man no problem just like it does off-road yeah that full suspension really helps all right now to give my final thoughts on this high boy ex7 full suspension fat tire e-bike um after putting it through all the rigors here um i have to say this is a overall i have to say this is a great bang for your buck um and uh, i I would have to say, what I love about the uh, High Boy bikes, at least the P6 that I tested in a previous video, which I have a link to in the top right corner if you want to see that one. That one's a little bit cheaper than this, I think. I don't know what the pricing is now, but then it was like a thousand. And, uh, but it's a hardtail. It doesn't have the rear shock there to give more dampening, to give you a more comfortable ride off-road and on the street. Um, but this one, I have to say that horse link shock, which is it's non-adjustable though, it is nice, and it provides some nice dampening along with this thick seat, this thick grandma seat here, man. <laughs> I'm telling you, boy, it's real comfortable for your, your butt, man, and your tailbone. Really nice. Um, I have to say, uh, one thing I really like about the high boy bikes is, especially the P6 in this bike, is that it's quick off the line compared to some of the other e-bikes out there. It gets you up to speed pretty quickly, and... Uh, and I, I don't really have, the only cons that I can come up with this bike um, is, I would say, is that the brakes are a bit budget, but it, as you saw in this video, it did what it had to do going down on that steep hill, hit the brakes, it stopped the bike just fine. Um, but then again, uh, you're not paying that premium price over $2,000. You're paying only, what, $1,400, you get $100 off if you get the link and they use the code, my code in the description and comment section of the video, so it makes it $1,300. So, I mean, you're not going to get top-of-the-line premium components. It has plastic pedals. That's fine as long as it, you know, I haven't really had any problems with any of the plastic pedals on any of the e-bikes I've had. Um, another con, one con I have to say, which it's not really a con, I have to say, is the uh, um, pedal assist. It's not adaptive pedal assist, or some people call it smart pedal assist, um, where you start pedaling slowly, it kicks in slowly, you kick in uh, you, you you pedal more, it kicks in more, you know, it doesn't do that, obviously, but you're not paying the premium price. This has just your basic uh, run-of-the-mill uh, power assist. It's pretty abrupt, you know, once you start pedaling, it kicks in right away. Um, but it does what it needs to do, like I said. Uh, you know, if you you want to pay, all, if you want all the premium features, then you you pay that premium price, well over two, two, three, four thousand, whatever it is, man. Yeah, I could be paying $1,400 uh, for a full suspension uh, e-bike like this. That's pretty much all I have to say that's a negative uh, really to this bike because it did everything. It shifts smoothly, uh, comfortable to ride, um, tackled off-road, no problems. And uh, the, the light is really nice. The LED light is really bright, nice, lights up the road at night. I love the rack here. This rack can accommodate up to 110 pounds of cargo you can put on here and this bike will accommodate riders up to 330 pounds. I like the step through design um, which is good for for you know both females and males here or short riders so you don't have anything especially for men you don't have anything to bust your balls here <laughs> a bar there so it makes it really easy you want to jump off the bike get on it really quickly it makes it really nice and easy to do so that's really a nice touch as well I like the full uh, fully adjustable front fork like I've told you in the past, it has eight clicks to lock out. That was really nice when you get on the road, completely lock it out. And then when you get off road, you can make an adjustment there. It does have preload as well. Um, it does what it needs to do, man. What can I, what can I say? Um, I even love that it has the tail light there to help keep you safe there. Lights up there so at night you're riding here, the cars can see you and it modulates when you hit the brake. That's nice. Um, I've never had a puncture on any of my fat tire e-bikes, and I put them through the rigors. I've ridden over glass and everything else, man. It's <laughs> it's really hard to get a puncture on those things. Like I said, I've yet to even get a puncture on these uh these 26 inch fat tires or any of the fat tire e-bikes I've had so far. Um, it's really easy to remove the battery here. You press the button, comes right out. As you can see there, uh, you could put a bottle holder here on there, which is nice. And uh, unfortunately, you can't put a front basket on. Like some of them do have things where you can put a front basket, but this one you can. Now, not a big deal though. You got this to put all your cargo on, and then of course your backpack. Um, I have to say, um, overall, I have to say it's a great bang for your buck, man. Um, I'm impressed, just like I was with the P6. P6 versus this bike, it depends on what you want. For those of you that are looking for bare bones, 
um, the lightest e-bike you could possibly get that's a budget e-bike, um, then you want to go with, probably go with the P6. But if you want more comfort, you want the rear rack here, um, the step-through design, um, then bump up for a few hundred dollars more and get the EX7. Um, I actually, I like the EX7 better than the P6, really, um, for what I do. Just basic, you know, dual sporting around here in various terrains, riding on the road. It's This big grandma seat is real comfortable with that, paired with that horse uh, shock in the rear. Overall, I have to say, thumbs up. Like I said, if you want to get this bike, $100 off. Link in the code in the description and comment section of this video. Appreciate all you guys. Make sure to hit thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Hit that little bell symbol so you get notified when my new video is released. But I release new videos every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, baby.